What's up? It's Anthony here from SDK Today, and a couple of weeks ago, I taught you guys how to add a UI web view in your iPhone application, and in today's tutorial, upon request, I am going to be teaching you something a little bit more advanced, but it's going to be how to customize your UI navigation bar with an image. Now, this could be just to get a higher resolution, uh, maybe you have a designer who sent you a Photoshop file that has uh, maybe a, a different uh, sort of effects added to it that you can't normally necessarily do in Interface Builder or wouldn't want to spend that much time trying to do yourself. So this is just an easy way to get across from all that and fix it. So let's go ahead and open up Xcode and navigate to File, New Project. We can go ahead and select a VBase application. We will title this Navigation Bar. So now that we have our projects made, we will first need our resource in order to add the custom navigation bar, which in this case would obviously be the nav bar itself. I am using this from a project titled Nest, which is my Twitter client for the iPhone and iPod Touch. And we will just be taking this image and dragging it into our resources folder in our project, which I will do right now. So you can go ahead and drag that into your resources folder and hit add. So now that our uh, resource or our image is inside our project, we can head right into our classes folder and go into our viewcontroller.m. Here is where we'll be implementing the action in order to add the category, which if you don't know what a category is already, it's just an extension on an object or a certain, uh, a certain way you can do something with the iPhone SDK and UI kit. You're just extending upon that and creating something. So let's go ahead and first uh, create our category. So that's going to be at implementation and it's going to be UI navigation bar and we'll just call this custom navigation. So now anything below this will basically enable you to do something with your navigation bar until you go at end. So anything in between this and this will enable you to go ahead and do something with that UI navigation bar category. And actually, we should go, go ahead and actually copy this above this implementation file. Because what that will do, which first, make things easier, first and foremost. But secondly, it would actually give the user an easier way to navigate throughout the project and develop... Uh, certain aspects of it easier. So let's go ahead and create our void statement which will draw the layer with CA layer. So let's go ahead and go slash void draw layer colon CA layer which is just something in UI kit layer in context CG context ref and CTX now that is our delegate, which will enable us to actually draw the image onto the navigation uh, bar. So anything with this will enable us to do that. So let's go ahead and first uh, create our image. So UI image, we'll just call this nav bar, equals UI image alloc in it with contents of file, because you are taking the contents of the uh, navbar.png and putting it into uh, the project. So you'll just go NS bundle and it's of the main bundle in the project. Path for resource. And this will be the name of your file. So in my case, it's navbar. Make sure you type it exactly how it appears. And then of type, it'll be the file path, which could be uh, PNG, WAV, JPEG. Uh, GIF, whatever you have it set as. I'm just giving you examples of typical uh, file types you will have uh, browsing around the web, etc. So mine's PNG. And brackets, and brackets, semicolon. And now we will be setting the coordinates for our image. So CG context translate CTM, and that's going to be CTX. And then we'll actually make this zero, and then nav bar dot size dot height. So now that our coordinates are set up, we can go ahead and scale the image to the proper size. So CG context scale CTM. 
And you can already see a trend on how we're using the CD context reference in order to do this. So this will be CTX again. And we'll actually make this 1.0 and negative 1.0. That way you have a little bit of pixel difference. And then our next thing will be to draw the image onto the actual coordinate grid that we have set up prior to this. So G CG context draw image. And that'll again be CTX. Again, another trend you'll find while doing this. CG rect make. And this is very common with setting uh, your X's, your Y's, and your widths and heights of any object in the iPhone SDK or UI kit in general. We'll actually set the X and Y to zero because we already set it up here. And then self.frame.size.width. So you're saying the width of this image will be the width of the navigation bar. And then self.frame slash size.height. That's the same thing for that. Then we'll actually do it of the image itself. So navbar.cg image. Now we're going to release the image. So navbar release. So here we have created our image. We set our coordinates. We scaled it. And then we drew the image onto the screen. Now we can go ahead and go into our viewcontroller.xib. And that will launch up the interface builder. And now we are going to add in a clean UI view and a navigation bar. File save, interface builder quit. Now we can go ahead and check for any errors or warnings we may come across. And as you can see, succeeded. So if you go to build and run, you will see our navigation bar from the image has been put onto our bar in our actual application. So as always, this has been Anthony here from SDK Today. Of course, you can download the source code in the description of this video for further ex uh, explanation or if you had trouble with anything that I uh, described, of course, leave me a comment or PM out here on YouTube. You can also like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you'd wish to for further content, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.